I'm Patricia Lowell, Bishop of the St. Paul Area Synod. It's exciting to see missioning happening in the 112 congregations and mission starts that make up our life in the St. Paul Area Synod. Some of those congregations are over 150 years old, and two of those mission starts just were launched this past year. It's exciting to see mission unfolding day by day as we listen to God's word calling us forward, as we discover new neighbors and partners, and we take really bold steps forward in faith. Hi, I'm Justin Graham. I serve as your director for Evangelical Mission here in the St. Paul Area Synod. I wanted to say thank you to you and to your congregations for the many ways that you continue to support new mission and new ministries here in this synod. Simply put, without your financial contributions of mission support to the synod, new starts wouldn't happen. And beyond that, the many ways that you support through mission partnerships that exist makes it possible for us to be creative and to be open to the way the Spirit might be blowing in different directions here in the Synod. One question I often get is, why do we need new ministries? Why do we need to work to redevelop our congregations? And I want to be clear, it's not that we need new churches by any means, or that we need more churches. But what I've learned in, in my years as a mission developer and now in this role as Director for Evangelical Mission, What's become clear to me is that when we do new things and when we're open and bold enough to step forth to try something different, life happens in a different way than it can in an established congregation. It's not that it's better. It's not that it's gonna fix the problems that face the church, but new life happens. And what we're seeing through our various mission congregations that you'll see on the rest of this video is new life in ways that we can't even imagine. When people are met on the streets with a simple meal, but then invited to participate in the Lord's Supper and in communion, things happen. When people can come on a Sunday evening and gather in a, in a, a nursing home banquet hall, but be welcome for who they are and be invited to the table simply as they are, to experience worship in a way that's not normal, things happen and the kingdom of God breaks in. And the list goes on and on. And you will see that story through our mission developers who will speak to you and what I want to ask you to do is to think together with your congregation, is what is God calling you to do to continue this work of mission development? Because you see, we can't continue to do what we're doing without stepping forward in our commitment financially, together as a synod, and with more mission partners coming forward. If we don't have the support, the ministries won't continue because it costs money. But more than money, it costs partnership manpower, woman power, people coming together. Because when partnership really exists together financially, yes, but more so partnership in the way of a partner is supposed to be, lives are changed both for the new congregation or the renewing congregation, but also for the established congregation. Every day when I get to walk alongside of our mission developers or be present in one of our mission development sites, I find myself so richly blessed and literally finding new life within myself and the story that we together as the church are part of. I invite you to watch these stories of these amazing ministries that are going on right here in our synod. And to ask yourself as you're watching them, as you're listening to these stories, where does your story intersect with their story? Or even better, what's the next story that we're gonna write together here in the synod?